Today I wanted to show you guys just a quick cleaning method that I do for game boxes. On this one you can see there's sticker residue, a um, little bit more down here, and on the back again you can see there's just a lot of residue all over this, and this is really typical with a used game like this. And everything I'm going to show you is going to get rid of things like maybe there's Sharpie on this as well. On the inside it's not so bad, but mainly what we're going to focus on is kind of making the exterior look nicer. And, you know, this one's not in that bad a shape, but it's the best I have right now just to show the technique. And every time I get a used, you know, title like this, this is the method that I use to make them look nice again. So step one, simply remove the contents. And we'll put these off to the side. When that's done, we have our box empty and plain and ready to clean. Step two. I'm just going to take two, you know, tear outs of paper towel and slide them under the clear plastic film all the way up to the edge on the insides. Step three is going to be using Goo Gone. So with the towel behind it, you can really see all this grunge. Uh, my Goo Gone has this blue tape over it because uh, the bottle had a crack in it. No problems now. And just cover it. Go nuts with it. The reason for having the paper towel now is so that the goo gun doesn't kind of leach under as bad into the underside because this stuff is kind of greasy and needs to be cleaned away at the end. Let this sit for about a minute or two. Okay this has been sitting for about a minute but at this point we should be able to just kind of peel this off. So it hasn't gone as fast as I'd like so I'm gonna spray this one more time and give it another minute to sit. Okay, it's been a few more minutes. Definitely better than before. But since the sticker is incomplete and it's mostly just this paper residue, you can't really get, you know, a good edge. So oftentimes with full stickers, it's actually easier with this Goo Gone method. But you can see, slowly but surely, we're getting her off. So I'll skip ahead for when all this paper's off and then we'll wipe it down. So most of the paper on that sticker is completely gone. Now I'll take another piece of paper towel and just kind of rub out the other areas. And any exposed adhesive should just get washed up with the Goo Gone at this point. Now when the Goo Gone is mostly completely off the surface, I like to take one of these disinfecting wipes, lemon scented naturally, and do the same thing I did with the paper towel. And this is just going to kind of make sure we clean up all that goo gone, kind of get the edges of the box, get the goo gone off our fingertips, and kind of hold the underside here, and get these paper towels out. So since I waited so long with the goo gone, I kind of defeated my purpose of having those in the first place. I did get some in between here. You can see I'm wiping between the black plastic and the clear plastic film. Um, but at least the goo gun wasn't big puddles that would drop into these spaces. That's really where you want to avoid it because then it becomes trickier to clean it out. You know, you got to fully submerge it in water and let it dry overnight, things like that. This is supposed to be a quick method. So all the inside surfaces wipe out, get the edges, make sure you get in these little nooks here. I like to get a little bit on the inside here, but we're going to come back with something else later to get more of those spaces. Oh, it has one of these things too. And if that leaves adhesive residue behind, you can use the Goo Gone again. Make sure when you're going against the plastic film like this that you're not using too much pressure. We don't want to deform it. So after the disinfectant wipe, I'm going to take another paper towel, dry it up a bit, on the inside and the outside. Now it is still going to have a bit of a wet appearance on the inside, and that's okay. We're going to take care of that in the next step. Prop it just like that so you know there's space between the clear film and the gray case. Clean off the work surface here. We want to get rid of any goo gone residue that may be on the surface here. Next step, I have a bag of alcohol soaked wipes. You can achieve these just by putting paper towels in here and filling it with alcohol. 70% or 91% is fine. What's great about these is they're going to 
you know, clean off the surfaces, but also the alcohol evaporates very quickly. So it'll kind of clean off any residual wetness from either the Goo Gone or the disinfectant wipes and also dry it up fairly quickly. Get the inside and the outside. I'm not going to show all this, but you get the idea. Kind of just wipe down all the surfaces. You can see that wetness there if I get it with the alcohol. Now that should just evaporate pretty quickly and look clean. The last thing to note is that if there's any kind of wetness hanging out in here, you want to get your wipe and spread it out just like so. Squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Little bit of, looks like some residue. So that sticker is perfectly cleaned up. And the case is done. Another thing I like to do is take the disc and with, you know, my alcohol wipe still has a little bit of wetness to it. We'll clean that up as well. Disc is good. I like when there's just a little bit of wetness from the alcohol left on this. I'll take the manual and also wipe it and quickly check to make sure you're not removing any color from the manual. Get these edges. Don't forget to subscribe to Nintendo Power. All right, so we are done. Pro tip, don't close your game like this. Close it like this. Because these manuals are going to want to kind of see how the corners coming down. Well, that can pinch and stuff. And this can slide through. You can get pinched in the spine. So, yeah, make sure that's off to the side. Close it like this. So we're done. Sticker residue is gone in the main area and all the other areas as well. So this thing is squeaky clean. And our game is fresh. So this is the quick way of doing this. If you want to do it really thoroughly, obviously take everything out, then Dawn dish soap and water on all your cases, chuck them in a bin to dry, and leave it overnight. And then you can reassemble everything. I like doing it this way because it takes less than 10 minutes for one, and I'm not doing these in large batches. I might just have one every so often that, oh, there's stickers and Sharpie and other weirdness on it. Let's just clean it up quick. That's the way I do it for that reason. Really quick. Works really well for me. Um, do whatever you want. But thanks for watching.